Welcome back everyone. This is part two of the faceting machine. Um, this is installing the switch. So what I'm going to do first is make a little mount for this switch to go on. So we'll cut that out of a piece of steel, that way we can um, drill and tap it, can give us something to screw it to. And on this bracket here, we'll take it off and we can weld this on there and the switch should screw on. And also we can probably elongate these holes where it bolts onto. That'll give us a bit of adjustment to make the switch trigger at the right spot. So what I'll do now, I'll head over to the saw and cut this to the right shape. Okay, I've actually marked out um, on a bit of steel where the um, holes have got to be drilled and tapped. So here are the holes. Uh, I'm just going to put an M 3mm um, screw in it. So I'll drill and tap then. Set this up in the vise. Okay, from M3, um, look on a chart, 3mm by 0.5, which is a 2.5mm drill. 2.5mm drill. Slow, we'll speed that up a bit. Okay, I'm going to tap that out now. Um, I won't power tap it, I'll just do it by hand because it's three millimeter, it'll break very easily. So this is a spring loaded center this one. As you can see it moves up and down. What I'll do now is swing it round and do the same on the other side.
Okay, it's drilled and tapped. Uh, let's make sure the switch fits. Hopefully all the measurements were right. Okay, that fits good. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I need to mount it onto here. Um, somewhere in that position. So I'll just mark some lines on there. So what I might do is take this off first. Yeah. Bit of thinking involved here. I might elongate these holes first before I weld this on. It'll make it easy to hold in the um, the vise in the milling machine. So I might do that first. So I'll just mark some lines before I take it off. So somewhere in this position. Okay, right, I'll unbolt this. Okay, I managed to get this off, a bit of maneuvering, and I didn't have to take the whole thing apart. Um, but this is a piece of aluminium. It looks like a piece of steel, so that changes the ball game a bit. So the only thing I can do is you can't weld a piece of steel to the aluminium. Um, so what I need to do is make up a whole new bracket. So it doesn't need this top part, this elongated hole at the top, it doesn't need that piece. So I just need this bottom bit. So I'll go to my steel rack and I'll find a piece of steel and we'll make a new bracket. Okay, I've cut a piece of plate. Um, this is the new bracket. So what I need to do now is um, head over to the mill and cut a slot in there. I think it's a six millimeter slot. And I don't know how wide I'll make it just yet. Probably maybe 30 mil long. So it'll be six mil wide, 30 mil long. I'll head to the mill and cut a slot. Okay, we'll just mark it out now so we get the right lengths. So it's going to be 10 millimeters from the side. Okay, it's all marked out. So I'll set it up in the mill. Okay, the first thing I'll do, I'll set it up and um, drill the holes. Then I can run the end mill from hole to hole.
the end mill I'm using, just a four fluted end mill, six millimeter. Okay, it's all cut. Okay, the bracket's all made. Um, so I'll do now, I'll just bolt it back on, just temporarily, so I can line up where the switch has got to go. I'll do now. Um, I'll set this up and mold it up. Take the switch off, of course, and then weld this onto there. Put the camera, and then we'll try and see if it fits. Okay, I got the two bits um, clamped together, so I'll just run a bead of weld on them now. Okay, I'll clean him up and then I'll see if it all fits together. Okay, the part's all finished. What I'll do now, I'll um, fit it all together, even with the switch on it. 
and we'll see how it all lines up. Okay, it fits good. What I'll do now is I'll pull it all apart again and I'll give it a coat of paint and then I'll come back and we'll do the wiring on it. Okay, the switch is all installed now. It's got a coat of paint on it. You can hear it clicking. So there's no play in that at all now. Alright, so what we'll do now, we'll um, wire it all up. Shouldn't take too much for that. Take a little bit. Check to see if that's going to work first. Okay. All right, so I'm doing this now. So this one here, I'll just earth out to that little screw. I'll take the screw out and I'll just earth that part out. Then the other part, other probe that comes from the uh, multimeter, I'll put a plug on there and slot it in on that one. This end here, I think it's going to require soldering. Okay, the switch is all wired up. All this part of the job's all been completed. As you can see, it's working. You see the needle moving? So all that play that was originally in there is all totally gone. Switch is all made with a new bracket. So this part of the job's completed. Now there will be a, um, a, another video, video number three, or part three. Um, this protractor on here, which measures like the angles, um, needs to be replaced and they want to put a, a digital one on there. So that'll be part number three. So look out for that video. Right, thanks for watching.